So here we are looking at some of the shelves at Canada Fossils with some of the bones. Got some cast material up there. Here we've got some bones here. This is mainly duckbill dinosaur parts here. Here we've got the leftover pieces from the other dinosaur projects. These five boxes are uh, duckbill material. And here we've got boxes with all the past dinosaur excess pieces. We've got a little bit of Leptoceratops, Prenoceratops. We've got some pieces from Dante, who was the Notosaur. We've got Uma, who was the Euplocephalus. We've got uh, Peggy and Irene, who were the duckbill dinosaurs. We're moving over here into Ben, who was the Ineosaur. And we believe we have the left ilium here. And in this jacket is the possible frill pieces. Now we're getting into the Ceratopsian Mansfield uh, pieces. So we've got five boxes here, six boxes, excuse me. And then these shelves here are all Mansfield material excess pieces that we either never used or had in our original skeleton and then we found better pieces you can see there's two rows here we've got some still in the jackets back here getting down into some of these other bones a few of these long bones here are duckbill but the main thing is ceratopsian now we're getting into we've got pieces of the harris skeleton and i'm going to show you a uh, separate video with that material and then we've got the other side with the shelves of bones here going over now this is all mainly duckbill material but we've got all kinds of bones and here's an example of one of the boxes here the kind of material that you're going to see in there they're not totally full but uh, you can see that there's a fair amount of material here's some of the longer bones here going on to the other shelves we've got teeth unknowns Cubis, I'm seeing uh, fragments, caudal vertebra, all kinds of stuff here. And then some of the boxes are saying what is in there, cervical vertebrae, miscellaneous, sacral elements, juvenile and adult pieces. We've got some hadrosaur casts, things like that in some of the boxes. Caudal vertebra, fibula, Pez, Manny, we've got other bones all along here. Here we've got a few of the longer bones. Now again, this is all duckbill material. Getting into down here, we've got this beautiful Premax right here. Coming into some of the pubi we see here and some other various long bones. And I should be stated that that scapula over here is actually a ceratopsian one. It's not a duckbill, but almost everything else here is. And here we've got some skull material from the duckbill dinosaur. I see some bags labeled quadrate. We've got jugals. We've got things like that over here. So then moving on over to another area. This is now some Mansfield material here. I believe these are parts of the hip here. And then these over here, we've got three shelves. And these are uh, mainly duckbill, but you can see there's quite a few elements. We're going back into some of the excess Mansfield pieces. We've got three boxes here of pieces of the Kennedy Cooley material. You can see that third box there. And then we're going into over here. Here's a couple femurs here, a femur and a tibia, excuse me. And now we're getting into more of the Mansfield material. We've got lots of the excess material here. We've got two very big scapula here. And now we're getting into some of the other boxes. I believe we've got about five or six boxes of material here. You can see everything's labeled. This is some of the juvenile material here. And now we're getting into some of the extra bones in these, bo excuse me, these boxes. 
Now we're getting into, this is all Mansfield material. We've got some of the long bones. We've got some big horn cores there that haven't been worked on and two more bones here. And the one thing I forgot to talk about was what we have on the table here. And we've got some Mansfield material. We've got some, this is uh, actually some other Ceratopsian material, not from Kennedy Cooley. We've got that big, beautiful horn core here. Fantastic, already restored, but not painted. We've got more Mansfield here, and then we've got a few more duckbill bones here. So looking at the kind of material we have, uh, we feel there's got to be more than 1,200 bones here. Most of it being Hypacrosaurus stebingeri, but we do will have some Ineosaur, lots of the uh, Medusa ceratops pieces. And then this doesn't even touch the pathologies. And going into those, we've got this sacral element here. Now this is one we were going to include on Zelda, but we feel that it's not big enough for that skeleton. And now we're looking at some of the pathologies that Ammer has. You can see some of the, the ribs that have been broken and rehealed. We've got this beautiful Mansfield two verts that are uh, fused together at the centra. The main body and some of the bags here. All kinds of stuff. Eggshell. There's some turtle shells here. There's another box with turtle shells. Some of the Xenia. That's the Ineosaur material. There's all kinds of stuff here. As I say, this is 30 years worth of digging. Thank you for your time.